Hi everyone, this is Deb Britt. I'm doing part one of a tutorial to um, instruct you how to upload a web, a WordPress blog to your own server. There's a couple things that we have to assume um, in order to move forward with this tutorial. Well, number one is that you have your own web host and that you have the domain name that you want the, the blog to be uploaded to. Secondly, uh, you, al you also must have a database set up on your domain. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, you'll need to check with your hosting company. They may have uh, information on how to do that under their frequently asked questions. If it's that information is not available on your hosting company site, you may need to contact them if you're not sure how to set up a database because the WordPress blog does require a database be set up in order to function properly. First of what I'm going to show you um, is we're going to be going to the domain wordpress.org as opposed to this, uh, the other WordPress site which is wordpress.com. Wordpress.com is the website for the free WordPress blogs that are hosted um, that are hosted for you on the web. It's not one that's hosted on your own server. So make sure you are going to wordpress.org to, for this tutorial. And I'll show you the instructions that I'm following in order um, to take care of uploading this WordPress package. If you go down, uh, scroll down to the bottom of your screen, you'll see uh, download and install WordPress. If you click that link, it will take you to the actual download page. And here in the second paragraph, it says we've created a handy guide. So click on handy guide. That'll take you to the next page. And right here, you'll see the famous five minute install. If you click that link, it will take you to the instructions exactly how I will be going over them for this tutorial. So as you can see, um, it does mention in step two that you have to create a database on your web server in order to proceed with the tutorial and, and in order to proceed with installing WordPress on your own server. Okay, so if you, wanna, if you wanted to print that out, I, I just copied and pasted it into a Word document and printed it out so that it's easy to follow instead of going back and forth to web pages. Um, you can do that now. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the download page here and we're going to click on the download link. You'll see it's a zip file. Click on that link. It'll bring up a dialog box. We're not going to open it, but we're going to save it to a disk. In my case, it will save to my desktop. In your case, that may be different. You just need to know where your file is going to be downloaded to because you'll need to access it to extract files from the zip file. All right, click OK. Down here in the lower right, you'll see that my download is complete. Okay, now I'm going to minimize my screen and find the file that was downloaded. And here it is, the zip file WordPress 2.5.1. According to our instructions, the next step is to unzip the package. I'm using Windows Vista. You may be using a different operating system. I believe XP works pretty much the same. If you double click this file, it will open an extraction screen where you can click here and extract all files. So we're going to extract all files. It'll ask you where you want your folder to be saved to. In my case, it's going to stay on the desktop. I click extract. And depending on the uh, speed of your computer, it can take anywhere from a minute or two. You can see we're almost halfway done already. And what's going to happen when it's done is it's going to open the window that shows me where my files are. Okay, here's my window that shows my unzipped WordPress folder. If you double click there, these are all the files that you'll be um, uploading to your server in order to allow the Word, your WordPress blog to function properly. Okay, please see part two of the tutorial to continue the instructions on uploading the WordPress blog.